morning guys. Welcome to Nat Stars Lounge. So today I have made some vegan chocolate chip pancakes. Now if you want to see how I made this, keep watching and then soon we'll dive in. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So you've just come back from watching how I've made these yummy little, well not little, they're pretty big pancakes. Um, so this morning I have actually um, also cooked some of these Nature's Kitchen uh, sausages. They're from Coles, they're really good. Um, now this isn't a typical breakfast, but um, I just really love chocolate chip pancakes. I have a bit of a sweet and savory too, so I have two different things here. Now, um, usually with pancakes I'm doing plain, I'll have Canadian maple syrup, but because these are chocolate chip, um, I don't need it, they're really sweet. These are super fluffy pancakes. Um, now, some, I've used the Sweet William chocolate, which you can find um, in the health aisle in Woolworths or Coles. And sometimes I use those little cute little Easter bunnies I'm from a Sweet William as well and chop them up in there. So, oh look how fluffy these are. No eggs, no dairy. And I just cooked it in like a little bit of um, Nutellex and a bit of spray. Mmm. Oh my god. Um, this is just butter and then the chocolate. I promise it's not burnt. <laughs> Sometimes people cook stuff and they have the um, outside burnt in the middle roll. Like, look at all this chocolate. That is all chocolate. Mmm. So delicious. Mmm. And because I can't go for my morning coffee every morning. I'm trying to stay home. Today, I have this guy. Khalifa Farms Double Espresso Almond Milk. Best iced coffee that I've had so far. Let me guys know in the comments below if you tried a different one that you think is better than this. Because right now, in Australia, this is my favorite one. So, I'll just shake it up. I just drink out of the bottle. I don't need cups for that. <laughs> so yeah, when I was in um, Canada, I used to go to Starbucks all the time. In Australia, um, there's only like Starbucks in Brisbane City or Gold Coast. Um, 
and I don't venture out that way all the time, so I would go to Zarafa's, but I'm trying to really avoid any busy places like that, and I'm pretty sure they'd be closed down now anyway, so that's the next best thing. <laughs> mm. So good. So this is my second sweet dish in a row. Um, let me guys know in the comments below if you want me to make something sweet or savory next time. Um, just, I mean, I'm up to make anything. I think it's really a good excuse when you're staying home. You have more opportunity to um, <laughs> cook, you eat out less, um, you save money. <laughs> so why not cook? Mm. These are just the best pancakes I've ever had. Not just because I made them. <laughs> They're so good. And I know you guys probably seen the um, white vinegar that I used. Um, now, you can't taste it at all. It is literally, I know people like to use bananas or applesauce and things like that, or flax seeds to make eggs. Um, I just. I don't want a banana taste with my chocolate chip pancakes. I know you can't really taste applesauce. I'm just not a fan of it that much. So I just use a tablespoon of white vinegar and a tablespoon of baking powder. Um, and it gets it nice and fluffy. You can't taste it at all. Mm. Now, it works in pancakes. It doesn't necessarily work in other things. I've tried other things like cakes and that and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Um, you just have to experiment, guys. Mm. I'm sure you guys are aware now that we are currently at stage two um, for coronavirus, so they've shut down, like, obviously all non-essential businesses, so clubs, pubs, uh, restaurants only doing takeaway, food courts only doing takeaway. Um, retails are still open, which is good. Um, schools are still open except for in Victoria right now. Um, but the schools have implemented some um, programs. I'll go into that later. Um, and yeah, and also obviously like beauty salons, things like that. So there's quite a, there's quite a big list. So pretty much what's open right now is you've got grocery stores, gas stations or petrol stations in Australia. Um, yeah, like retailer stores, um, pharmacies, just like essential stuff that we need. Obviously, like your job, um, if your job hasn't been shut down or closed, because it's pretty much just essential businesses. So get your food, get your gas, get your medicine. Go to, pardon me, go to work if you need to, um, and school. Um, and they've also like shut down, so you can't have barbecues or anything anymore. You can't even have like a small gathering in your house. So, um, funerals, 10 people. I mean, I, I, it's a good idea um, to the social distancing. It's like a really helpful thing, but that's gonna be really tricky. Um, I mean, you know, I, my, my granddad passed away a couple of weeks ago before this happened. So um, luckily <coughs> we were all able to go um, to attend his funeral and there was probably like over almost, what was it? about 60 people so um, I just couldn't imagine um, I'm very sorry for someone that had someone pass away recently um, I couldn't imagine how difficult that would be to sit there and have to say oh only you can go only you can go because um, a lot of people you know like that that would oh, I just couldn't imagine like having to sit there and tell someone you can't come to your your um, brother's funeral or blah 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 you know it, it, I don't know I mean I, I know why they're doing it but that's gonna be tough mm. and weddings too like oh man of people that have like booked their weddings and now they can um, they can only have five attendees so that's two witnesses um, two people that are getting married and then obviously the person that's officiating it so ooh. <laughs> I mean, low budget wedding, but if you've already booked it, and you spent all this time and it's cancelled, I couldn't imagine. I know it's important, but like, 
people aren't stupid. Like, they know um, it, there's a good reason for it, but it's still upsetting, irregardless. It's still upsetting having to change your life. Um, but I'm hoping that just by them hurrying up and getting this over with that we can, in a few months, get back to our normal lives. Whatever that is for you. So I was mentioning with the education, um, I did mention my last video of like what they'd be doing. So I actually received from our school a um, music sheet with um, some songs to learn, HP activities, but I mean it's good they sent the sports activities, but I already know what to do with that. I guess some people don't. Um, <laughs> and then they also sent us, um, the teacher sent me an 18 page literature um, schedule with all different activities. Um, there's like coloring stuff too, so she's only in grade three, so it's not super hard. And then there is a 20 page mathematics, sorry, mathematics uh, book as well. So, um, but it's all simple, like grade three stuff, you know, like place value, uh, multiplication, stuff like that. So, um, I mean, it's really good to have. So it's kind of like a preparation thing because I'm sure you're aware of the teachers that were wanting to go on strike actually today because it's Wednesday um, if they didn't close the schools down we're gonna have to see how that rolls out um, see what happens so I mean I've got my daughter home um, just because she's been having a bit of a cold and I don't think it's coronavirus but she doesn't feel well I'm not gonna send her to school it's just not worth it um, there was a mum in the UK she actually posted a video of herself and she had um, the breathing tubes up her nose and she was coughing, she was having a really hard time breathing and talking because um, she'd made a post telling people don't risk it, don't go out, don't go out clubbing with friends, restaurants, meet up with people, um, you might seem like you're perfectly healthy and she was probably in her mid late 30s, so not that old. For, for this kind of thing she was not that old um, and she had actually contracted the virus and she, she actually said that as she was coughing and could barely breathe, that she felt 10 times better than she did prior to shooting um, the video. So she shot it in like a week earlier, a few days earlier. She felt horrible. So, um, and they've actually said, you know, that a lot of people now, between ages of 20 to 45, um, there's probably about 40% of people in that age that have contracted the virus. So their, their thought process of having it over 65 has now changed because the reason why they had that was because in China and Italy the death rates were from older people but now they've realized that that's not the case um, you know so it's just you gotta be really careful I know that it's talked about a lot but um, unfortunately the amount of media coverage and attention this has brought people are treating it like it's nothing like you know what yes life goes on yes you have things to do but to sit there and you know go oh, well, and people need to stop talking about it da, da, da. it's because people are talking about it because half of you aren't listening you know you just let's go out and party and do things blah 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 it doesn't affect me well not right now so the whole flat curve system with the healthcare um, that's not happening we are going up like this um, in Australia so you know January it was about 100 cases and it's just going like that so um, there's a reason why they're doing that. And they also have military on standby now in Australia to um, help with deliveries um, and also um, getting out for people that are doing big group events, they will break it up. So they're there just to help with delivering foods um, with truck companies and things like that. So. I mean, the government hasn't implemented it yet, but they are on standby, so um, it will eventually happen. Like all these things that people talk about, oh, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Not yet, okay? So um, it's just getting worse. I mean, as of this morning, in New South Wales, I think there's over 800 cases. Queensland, there's over 400. Worldwide, there is over 400,000 cases of coronavirus. Only 12% of those have actually um, recovered so um, and someone else actually unfortunately passed away um, in Australia just this last week so it's not stopping right now guys at all so I 
kind of brighter note. Because everyone's talking about that. I finally got my results back and I've passed my other assignment in uh, literacy and numeracy, which I thought I would because um, I had just, like I said, I had problems and she's like, you passed, I had another one, you didn't pass, did it again and I passed. So I'm waiting to enroll for my next one. So like everyone's saying, you know, oh, I've, I've applied for uni, um, you know, doing a biology, things like that. So it's a good time right now to just focus on your studies. So I'm re-enrolling for online um, for my last two clusters and I can just sit at home and just get that all done. So, I mean, there's really good things about it, right? Um, and oh, my daughter's into like really like scary horror stuff right now. Um, and there's a game on Roblox. So I play with her, but I watch her because um, I know there's moderators, but I like to make sure that there's no one weird talking to her. Um, and it's just like a, a world where you make make any kind of avatar character and you can pretty much do anything you can think of. You can be any type of person you want, have any type of restaurant, uh, ice cream store, um, just it's like kind of, there's just no uh, limitations pretty much to what you can be. Um, and this guy called Ice Scream. Um, it's this game and there's this like creepy guy that has like an ice cream head that's rotten and um, it doesn't sound fun but she likes like scary stuff so that's what it is um, and like he sells ice cream it makes kids like really overweight and fat and then he like freezes them and like hides them somewhere and kids have to find them now a lot of people are like you know oh if kids watch that they're gonna want to do that there is kids like that but my daughter knows the difference between reality and like just stories and that she knows it's not real and that it's just for fun and entertainment um it, it's you know like it's it's true she's under the under 13 account so um and i always monitor her and things like that so we actually drew um if you see my instagram uh it's the same as this channel nat stars lounge i actually um drew one of the characters because she had these little lol surprise dolls and we, I like to do a lot of um, role play games with her with her toys, um, just like for fun and for therapy and things like that. So I actually drew a mask on, and then I actually um, make, created an I created an actual proper mask. Um, sorry, my camera just said I recorded maximum time, and uh, we just started like playing this game together, and then I had to do like creepy voices. Um, but then also, she loves the channel um, on Roblox. They're called The Crew, the K R E W. And there's like five different characters. They're all brothers and sisters. They are based in Alberta, Canada. Um, and this is one, they're all, there's one brother, four sisters. Um, and there's a character called Funner, Golden Glare, Rainbow, Luna, and then Draco Draconite. I am always <laughs> playing Draco Draconite. Um, and I have to do the voice every time. She's like, I won't play unless you do Draco Draconite. So, um, yeah, I like to do that. So, it might not sound like it's meant to, but this is what it sounds like, guys. Though. Hey, guys. Uh, I totally know that I am the best. Ha, ha, ha. So, I would do stuff like that. Like, I do voices from Barbie, you name it. I love um, getting into roleplay characters and things like that. So... Um, yeah, just creative ways like we paint we do all sorts of things um, So let me guys know in the comments below what you guys are doing if you have any good ideas for um, Keeping things fun and interesting at home um, But yeah, no, I'm just gonna try and have a look at um, some different ideas Maybe look at our recipes that my nan's done uh, my late nana Because um, I get lots of inspiration from her so she she's been gone for probably about eight years now but she was such an amazing cook so I'm gonna have a look um, and see what kind of recipes I can create from that and veganize them because I can veganize anything guys I know you guys probably can too like you can veganize anything so um, I'll have a look and I'll let you guys know it could either be sweet or savory um, but I will see you guys in the next video bye now